Welcome to Champ Week on ESPNU. It's the 2017 MAC Basketball Championships. Tonight, from the Times Union Center in Albany, New York, it's the quarterfinal matchup between the fourth seeded Siena Saints and the fifth seeded Fairfield Stags. Around to be as neutral as possible in terms of a different floor, different signage, but the reality is the Saints in gold off to a quick start. Long, who scored that bucket for Siena, one of their four 1,000 point scorers, and he, as much as anybody, Rob, of this senior group, has played inspired, energized ball lately. And Wright changes speeds as well as anybody. I mean, he can just be a blur out in the open floor, but then he can also stop on a dime. Here's Ogun Yemi, the local product on this Siena team. Grew up just across the Hudson River over in Troy, and he's got his first two. Interior passing leads to an easy layup for Sidibe. Long leans in and banks it home. He is working so hard to try and make things difficult for Nelson. Millen for three. It's a real dark horse on the outside of the bubble, but they're at least in the discussion now. Yeah, they weren't about two weeks ago, but they've played themselves into bubble consideration. That's what will go on throughout the next couple of weeks. Working on Shivers, no. Ogun Yemi's got it, and here comes Marquise Wright. He is a magician with the basketball in his hand. For her son's college days. They are very, very close. Your son is having a terrific start to this ball game. Answer at the other end. The game at three and both are streaming live on the ESPN app and watch ESPN. Tyler Nelson end to end. Shots taken inside the three point line. Their bigs have not been able to convert inside. Good defense to stop right. Here's Nelson for three. Big start to the second half for the step. Up at Niagara after playing just six minutes against Canisius went out with the injury. Hogan Yemi, deep position and a chance for three. Six foot eight guys. Smithens pass taken away by Millen. No angle to make that entry pass. Nelson back nice to Millen. Play. That was a tremendous set. And then he beats you off the bounce and a nice wrap around on the finish with that pass. Millen's got seven points. Hogan Yemi draws the foul on Millen and a chance for three. The reverse to shoot. Levon Long, blind pass to Ogan Yemi, who fights to the rim. Bisping keeps it alive. Ogan Yemi taps. Long's got it. He puts it up. And somehow it goes through the hoop. Bisping, a contested three. Here comes Segura. Remember, right with those four fouls, just has to get out of the way. Reloading with six seconds on the shot clock. Ogun Yemi buries the three. Segura left his feet. Right to Shivers. End to end for the dunk. They dodged a bullet as they won in overtime at home against Davidson. That would have been a crippling loss for the Rams, so they stay alive. Shot clock under 10, Smith and with it. Shivers to the foul line, banks it in. The Baltimore school five years ago, this is fourth season as head coach at Siena. Millen, right down the lane for the easiest two of the night. I love the chess match between the coaches and the rubber match, if it comes to that, could be very intriguing. Johnson for three. Fairfield trying to force the turnover, but with that, the leak out. Ogun Yemi slams it home, 74-64. Nelson, tough shot. Yemi holds Fairfield off, and the hometown Saints are going to move on to face Monmouth in the Max Semis. And they survived having their point guard, Marquise Wright, having to sit with four fouls early in that second half, Jimmy Patsos did a good job managing his time. And because of that, they move on to the semifinals against Mom.